the word answer. This poem is in four parts. Well, you'll hear. Lightning walks across the shallow seas, stick figures putting feet down hard among the molecules. Meteors dissolve and drop their pieces in a mist of iron, drunk through atomic skin like dreamy wine. The virus that would turn a leaf dark red seizes two others that would keep it green. They spread four fingers like a lizard's hand. Into this random rightness comes the prayer, a change of weather, a small shift of degree that heaves a desert where a forest sweated and asks creation to return and answer. That's all it wants. A prayer just wants an answer and twists time in a knot until it gets it. There's the door. Will anybody get it? That's what he's wondering. The bath's still warm, and by the time he towels off and puts on his pajamas, robe, and slippers and goes down, they'll be gone, won't they? There's the door again. And nobody's here to answer it but him. Perhaps they'll go away. But it's not easy. Relaxing in the tub, reading the paper, with someone at the front door ringing and pounding, and it sounds like glass breaking in. At least the bathroom door is securely bolted. Or is that any assurance in this case? He might as well go find out what's the matter. Whoever it is must really want something. We ask for bread, he makes his body bread. We ask for daily life, and every day we get a lie. Or a facsimile. Or else we get a tight place in a crowd, or test results with the prognosis bad. We ask, and what is given is the answer. For we can always see it as an answer, distorted as it may be, from our God. What shall we ask for then? For his return? Like the bereaved parents with the monkey's paw, wishing and wishing again? The last answer, when we have asked for all that we can ask for, may be the end of time, our mangled child, and in the doorway, dead, the risen past. With this prayer I am making up a god on a gray day prophesying snow. I pray that God be imminent as snow when it has fallen deeply a deep god. With this prayer, I am making up a God who answers prayer, responding like the snow to footprints and the wind, to a child in snow, making an angel who will speak for God. God, I am thinking of you now as snow, descending like the answer to a prayer, this prayer, that you will be made visible, drifting and deepening, a dazzling, slow acknowledgement out of the freezing air, as dangerous as it is beautiful.